but I'm going to switch to this one just for now because I think the camera likes it a little better. All right, so yeah, we can go down to notifications. I don't have notifications right now, but if I did, I could actually hold down on a notification and it'll show which app is showing that notification. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can sw swipe down for notifications once and swipe down another time for uh, these like quick settings and you can adjust the brightness here. So I think that's a good brightness, maybe a little lower and uh, maybe higher. Okay, you can have the Wi-Fi here, Bluetooth. The share button here is exclusive to the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Auto rotate Shield controller, exclusive to the Shield tablet, obviously. And you can actually cast the screen here to the Chromecast. So you can actually cast the whole screen to the Chromecast. And this is actually a feature I've always wanted on Android or iPhone, whatever. I've always wanted this feature because it's just so easy. You don't have to, for, you know, always plug in your HDMI cable. You can just do this if you're like showing your family or something, uh, some photos. You know, you don't have to uh, download some Chromecast app or something. And, you know, kind of, it's really kind of uh, fl uh, flimsy if you download an app, you know, f made for Chromecast to, to view photos or videos or something. And it, it just doesn't really works, work, I mean. So... Once you do this, you can just cast to a Chromecast, and it's going to be so easy. And this is a very welcome feature. And then you have full screen on and off. Now, this is actually also exclusive to the NVIDIA Show tablet. Uh, up here, we have settings. So we actually have no power user uh, battery saver features anymore. So, you know, the Android 4.4 feature actually... Uh, the Android 4.4 update actually had this kind of like power saver um, setting within NVIDIA Shield tablet and it allowed you to kind of save the battery and not really use the, uh, the tablet as as much you know it, it would allow you not to use the um, the performance as much because this is a very powerful device but I guess it's it's gone I don't really see it here very weird. Maybe Android 5.5 has like really good battery life or something. I don't even know. Um, so what else? Okay, so you can actually even switch um, the the user. So this is not really a thing I care about. But you know, if you have like a family or if you have brothers or something, uh, you can just add a user and you can add a password to your to your user you know yourself or whatever and you can you can do that or if you want to give the tablet to somebody just put on guest mode and put a password on your own uh, user and you know they can you install apps on on the screen and stuff like that um, but they're not gonna have any of your information so yeah pretty cool oh so here's a notification and with this notification you can uh, you can't even see that this notification you can actually hold down on it and it's going to show you who is you know who is uh, showing that app or you can double click on it oh hold on uh, <laughs> okay you can double click on it and it opens it up so yeah I love that feature with Nvidia Shield where you can actually record the screen so anyways, yeah, that's, I mean, I don't know what else to show you guys. I can go into settings, um, and I can go to about tablet here, and we can go to, oh, not, not that. And we have this cool animation. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and see you later.